Good morning and happy 4th of July weekend. I hope you've been having a wonderful time at home with your family and friends celebrating our great nation. Today we're going to be talking about our American flag and the fabric that makes up our wonderful country. So let's take a look at that. In the United States of America, we are able to say that we are a diverse nation. We are made up of many different types of people. In our country, we have people of all ages, young and old. In our country, we have many, many helpers. We have helpers that are doctors and nurses who take care of people who are not feeling well, who are sick, who need extra care. Uh, we have firefighters and policemen and women who are very brave and protect our safety every single day of their lives. We also have leaders that make decisions for our nation and also our pastors make up the fabric of our nation. We also are a nation that is fortunate to have many opportunities for education, for learning. That's important in our country. We also are a country that has many beautiful landscapes. There are great plains, there are rivers, there are mountains and oceans, and so many different regions that make up our beautiful country. We are blessed to have enough to eat in our country. And for those people who don't have enough to eat, they are able to find help by people who care. We also are a country that is made up of different types of families. No two families are the same, but every family is made up of love. We have so many different freedoms in our country. We have the freedom to get any kind of job that we are qualified to do. We have the freedom of speech, but it's important to remember to say nice things. We are a country that are made up of many different colors of people. It doesn't matter what color you are. We are all a part of this wonderful country. Well, those are the things that are different about us, but the missing puzzle piece, the one that is the most important, is that we are all children of a God who loves us. And that's what brings us together more than anything. So on this 4th of July weekend, I want us all to remember that we are all children of God. And because we are his children, we should treat each other as such. Love one another as Jesus has loved you. Let us pray. Loving God, we are so grateful to live in this beautiful country. We ask your um, healing hands to be on our country. We ask that you be with our leaders, that you be with every person in, in our family, every person that we come in contact with, our friends and our neighbors, and help us to love them, God, as you, you showed us how to love, um, that we may treat each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. I hope that you are going to join us uh, this morning at our drive-in worship service. Um, throughout the summer, um, for any children that are visiting our drive-in service, I'll go around a few minutes before the service starts. You can tune in to 89.5, and I'll be delivering either a takeout church box or some activity bags so you can have some fun things to do in the car while you worship with your family together. All right, have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.